Sorry, Ochi, you're not allowed in this dungeon. The dream home. I see a lot of places to mess around down here. Wouldn't be a bad place to live. I hid all my snacks in a box, but I forgot the code I need to open it. Okay, then. They recommend... Oh, okay. They want purples. I'm running out of water. I still got like almost an hour left. <laughs> I'll probably have to go fill it maybe at the end of the day while they're going through all the loading. Away here. I need to find the combination. Okay. There's a Mondo bulb, bulb orb over there. Please, everybody drink nectar until there's no more nectar. Ah, one of you. I am going to have to get up there in order to actually pick those, but sure. <laughs> one card that card is a joker nice <laughs> So only Ochi can go in there. Let's see where Ochi ends up. Switch. Interesting. I mean, Ochi alone can can carry this. So that works out for me, I guess. This is a large, like, floor. It's like a whole new level, basically. Don't worry, guys. I'll eventually fight, figure out how to get over to you. I wish I had the whistle upgrade that would let me pull you out. I forget which game could let you do that. It was two or three. Maybe I need to throw a purple on him to...
Alright, uh... So that's not going anywhere, because, uh... I don't have Ochi. You are not... Okay. This is disrespectful. This guy's being annoying. Let's see, there was a tunnel over here, right? That I started digging. Let's see what's through here. Wait, what's the point of this? <laughs> what is the point of this? I can just get up here with Ochi. Alright, then. Whatever you say, game. I'm sure there's probably some logical, like, anti soft lock reason for it. But I'm dumb and I can't think of it. Alright. I need to I need to get up here. I need to get Ochi up here. lag there for a second. Okay. Okay, first things first is I need to lower that drawbridge. And then the hope is that after I lower it, I'll have some way of getting Ochi up here. I don't I, I wanted stop joystick please oh my god it's it's acting out on me all right I should now be able to get Ochi over here Ochi, <laughs> why? Camera angles are messing me up. Let's see what this card is. Another Joker. Ochi, you want to get over here? Thank you. Okay. 
This is quite the level we're in. And I have I have no idea what the actual code is. Do not walk off, Dan. Alright, another Joker. No, nine of diamonds. Okay, that's one. I told you guys I'd, I'd figure out how to get to you. Alright, so we got the nine of diamonds. I need to find two more. I don't know. I have Flarlick, but I've already got 100 Pikmin, so I'm not sure what the, the need is. Didn't oh, is that a fidget spinner? <laughs> nice. All right. Um, I do see another card over there. Don't know where the third card is. So let's figure out how to get over there and then we'll worry about finding the last card. I do see a card there too. It's probably the, hopefully it's those two and that they're not, one of them's not a joker. Okay, so clearly I have to actually figure out what the deal is with this. Ochi. I believe it was the third one over. So this one, if I jump on this, will this also send me where I want to go? clubs. Nice. Right in the soft underbelly. Ah, Bob. <laughs> Why are you rubbing into my hand? out bad take it out why is the game so laggy you're one charge away didn't you make it sound like I was one charge away I don't know why that was so, like, laggy. Two of hearts. And that should be the combination. Oh, 
Well, hey! Bernice, not one of the Coppites, this fortune teller followed the will of the galaxy to this planet to guide those who are lost. Her predictions occasionally come true. Nah. A fortune teller, eh? Maybe having her read our fortunes every day would bring a little peace of mind. Or, maybe not. <laughs> All right, two of hearts. And three of clubs. What's inside? What? Flan? Is that a flan? It's quite jiggly. I'm sure Louie will be very pleased to know that we've taken this from him. Nice job, team. Wow, we finished the Sweet Tooth series. Incredible. That was an odd dungeon. It was just one floor. But sure. a few collections there. Aced it. Good job, team. It doesn't say that I got new purples, but I did. Okay. <laughs> yeah, whatever you say. Pretty sure I gained purples there. Had to figure out how to reach them after I bloomed them. The day should probably be close to being over, so... Flarlick. More than 100 Pikmin. Wait, what just happened? The number of Pikmin we can take out didn't go up at all. Oh, that's lame. Huh? Nectar from the Onion. Well, let's not release more than 100 Pikmin on the surface at any given time. That's lame. Who cares about Nectar? I'm probably not even going to get back to claim it in time. No, I'm actually on here. Okay. I, I, you know what? Just, just let the day end naturally. Please, game, control, stop. Okay, thank you. Upper back is hurting from from having my everything hunched up here, so I'm trying to to settle down here now. But then when I when I have the the controllers under the desk, they I get more inputs dropped. Pain the butt. One more person rescued. Alright, we'll just skip all that so that we don't have to go through all the long animations of each collection that I finished. <clears throat> Alright, we got the Face Wrinkler, the Love Nugget, the Seed Hive, the Persistence Machine, the Condensed Sunshine, 
uh, which the extravagant breakfast series, deity's portrait, fastening item, divine balloon, leisure car, devil's portrait, money emblem, captivation goo, space spinner, work emblem, love emblem, collection obsession series, blast shield, jiggle jiggle, sweet tooth series, and nuggets. I think jiggle jiggle might be one of my favorite ones so far. I don't know, Colin. I doubt the tales of my misadventures on the job would be any help to the Rescue Corps. Fishy. I disagree entirely. I believe they could be a useful reference. Every little bit of information helps on this planet. <laughs> Alright, if you insist. First and foremost, you must understand that the schedule is the most important thing. Nobody appreciates late cargo. <laughs> but the real challenge was learning to withstand long distance travel and all the heavy lifting. Funny story about that. Aye. Um, I didn't want to hear stories about freight management, Olimar. I want to hear about your time as a castaway. Oh, Olimar, it's an honest mistake. Everybody really cares about space freighting. <laughs> Couldn't even pretend that I did. I think being a trucker could be one of the worst jobs for me in the world. Being confined into one place for an extended period of time, constantly having to drive. 